we still have a great opportunity to finish the season very well. And uh, that's the same thing about athletics is you have to, in some ways, have a short memory. And even though it was a tough loss on Sunday, uh, we know we have an opportunity to finish strong and put ourselves in a good position uh, to play well in Frisco next week. So that's going to be our focus moving forward. At Old Dominion, we played the second conference game of the year. And I think it's safe to say that both of us are very different teams than we were on I think it was January 3rd. Um, we've evolved and changed and gotten better, and they've evolved and changed and gotten a lot better. And I think both of us are playing the best basketball that we've played um, this time of year. So uh, with all that being said, it was a close game back in January. We expect the same type of game uh, going into this. Uh, their guard play has been very good. They've got a couple players that can really shoot the three. Uh, their point guard does a great job breaking down defenses and creating. And then they got a big inside that does uh, a really good job getting positioning and scoring. Um, uh, for us, uh, you know, they played us all zone last time. And they did a good job kind of taking us out of rhythm. Uh, we're a much better team right now in terms of attacking the zone and understanding the shots that we need to find for this group. Um, so I feel a little bit better going into the game if they do uh, play zone. But they also can play man. So we just got to be prepared for both. Well, it's hard to say right now. I mean, the number one thing we have to do is take care of Charlotte, uh, meaning playing the best basketball that we can be playing going into conference tournament. So uh, that's going to be our focus right now of just getting that team back that uh, played well during that five game stretch where we won five straight, um, focusing on the little things that helped us be successful. And then whoever we end up playing will end up playing. But there's a lot of different scenarios that need to play out over these next two games before we know who that is.